And you see what Tinja spoke about something that goes on, you know, in, in our governance system. Winner takes all politics seem to have been ingrained and perpetuated in the psyche of politicians. And so right from 1992 up to now, he who wins an election has an ATM machine on his veranda. When you are elected to office, you serve the nation. You serve everybody. It, it is a truism that not all Ghanaians would vote for the president or the president's party. But once you become the president, your party must look out for the interest of Ghanaians. Whether they are MPP or NDC is not what we talk about. You look out for the interest of Ghanaians. But unfortunately, in fledgling democracies, sometimes there is a tendency to look out for the interest of your 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 own first before you think about this is what goes on but it is not something that is politically wise to go about talking about it okay you you don't go about saying it and then also if you look at chapter 6 of our 1992 constitution the directive principles of state policy it enjoins the state to do all it can to ensure that, that we are we, we are united and there is no discrimination. Some of the comments that I heard were discriminatory. And these are comments that run contrary to the position of the president. If you listen to him during his inauguration, he promised that he was going to be a father for Ghanaians. And so these comments run contrary to his vision. And um, it shows, you see, when we talk about leadership, we are talking about ability of the head to inspire confidence and to influence his workers, his team, and his followers to want to give enthusiastic cooperation to help the leader succeed. These comments are not comments that help the leader to succeed. And so I am looking at the president to demonstrate leadership and to show him the exit. People who make such brazen comments and such comments with impunity must be dealt with. And so the president must crack the whip.